Now to the coronavirus, the very real concern here in the U.S. and tonight perhaps the most promising treatment for the virus yet. The U.K.'s Oxford University now reporting a low-cost common steroid readily available here in the U.S. too that has cut the death rate in some of the most severe cases by a third. Here's ABC's Maggie Ruley tonight. Tonight, a major potential breakthrough in the fight against coronavirus. The first drug that improves survival rates in the sickest COVID-19 patients. And it's a really important first step. Um, it shows what can be done, and it's shown it with a treatment that can be used immediately. Dr. Martin Landrayton and his team at the University of Oxford discovered that dexamethasone, a common steroid, was shown to cut the risk of death by a third for patients who were on ventilators and reduce deaths by 20% for those who were on oxygen. When somebody comes off a ventilator, do they come off the ventilator dead or alive? And we've improved their chances of coming off that ventilator alive. The Oxford team worked in near record time, setting up what's believed to be the world's biggest trial of existing treatments in just weeks. Today's results are so encouraging, British doctors announced they'll begin treating patients with the drug today. It's really important because the drug itself is very widely available. It's on almost every pharmacy shelf in every hospital. It's available throughout the world and it's extremely cheap. In fact, dexamethasone can be used to treat a patient in the U.S. for just a dollar a day. For Scott Krakauer in New York, he says the drug was a turning point in his fight against COVID-19. I was coughing around the clock. He was in the ER and says he was having trouble breathing. But within hours of taking the drug, he says he began to feel better almost immediately. This was like a big, a big difference, a huge difference after I went on the IV. A uh, steroid um, that I felt. Dexamethasone's a steroid that reduces inflammation and appears to ease the virus's effects on lungs. It's different from another virus treatment, remdesivir, which speeds up recovery time but hasn't yet shown benefit in improving survival rates. But news on that steroid, very uh, steroid, very promising, Maggie, with us. And there's also a new study tonight, Maggie, uh, that just came out about how quickly the virus can spread, particularly among those under 40. Yeah, David, exactly. This is an alarming new study out of Japan that shows people ages 20 to 39, even those without symptoms, may be the ones who are driving the spread of this virus outside of hospitals. The study documents multiple cases where just one young person was able to trigger an infection cluster that infected five or more people in places like restaurants, bars, and gyms. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.